a score of 25. George? Matt, a question. How much chilli was in that soup? Just enough. <laughs> Honest. It honestly blew my head off. But honestly... The sausage is steamed and smoked. And right now, I've got my little pan set up with the sausage in there, just pan frying on a, on a low heat. And I'm happy just to let that tick away. I do want some nice colour and caramelisation on that. We've got the sauce reducing, and, and now I need to kick on with cooking the squid. The squid plays a slightly neutralising ingredient in this dish. I'll keep it quite, quite simple. I'm not going to do anything to the squid. Just hit it nice and quick, high heat. This is where it all starts to disappear. Um, just try to get this squid cooked, season it up, and then start to think about everything else that's going to go on there. OK, this is it. It's now time to start thinking how this is going to look on the plate. There is only five minutes to go. Come on, Matt. Come on, Carl. Oh, no, 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 no. Perfect with this crust. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Happy? Yeah. Okay. My fish is finally cooked. It's time to get it onto the plate. I place my fish onto another pan. I place some crumbs on it and I use a knife to make sure that the crumbs are all square on top of the rectangular fish. I then move my fish to my plate. I fill a little jug up with some broth and a dish with some chilli oil. As I'm plating this dish and I'm looking at it and I, I feel like I'm looking at my development over the past two years since, since leaving this kitchen and I feel like the, the grind has, has been worth it. One of the most enjoyable experiences I've had in this kitchen is, is finishing this dish right now. OK, 10 seconds! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it, step away. Good job. That's amazing. How'd you go? Oh, all right, yeah. So I've got a piece of fish, okay. broth, and yep. a prawn chili oil. Looks sharp. I'm feeling pretty happy right now. This is a really clean dish. It's so far away from what I usually put up. It's just looking really refined. Oh, that looks beautiful. All right, two great dishes here. Really bold flavours. Let's see what the judges have to say. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. What a fantastic day. I mean, I think you can feel the energy and the, the joy in the house having both Reynolds and Matt back here. And I personally think Khan did exactly the right thing in, in picking Matt. What do you reckon, George? Oh, look, you know, Matt, Matt is a, a, a chef now. You know, he's in his kitchen, he's cooking. But in saying that, Khan, I'm so in awe of him at the moment. His food is incredible. Matt Sinclair is a mighty challenger. Mm. And uh, all I can say is that if uh, Khan puts one over him and puts up a better dish, then uh, he deserves that place in finals week. I can't wait to see whether Khan has won that place. Well, let's stop waiting. Let's get the first dish in. Great. Red emperor, mushroom, and radish. Wow, look at that. That's interesting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not yeah. what I expected, to be honest. I like it. I like the look of it. I like the idea of crusting, you know, fish with something like radish and mushrooms. And what's that on the side? Chili there's oil? There's a chili oil there, and it looks and like a little a lovely broth. It smells like there's lemongrass. Confident cooking, isn't it? It's, it's throwing all of your eggs in one basket, so to speak, by just having that beautiful little piece of fish in a bowl. Yeah. Can't wait to see how it's yeah. cooked. I mean, that's going to be... So crucial. Thank you. I love it.
I think it's a, it's a really simple dish. It's very familiar. Beautiful mushroom broth. I presume it's shiitake. It's a mixture of, you know, shiitake or dried mushrooms and fresh mushrooms. A nice balance to the sauce. And I think it's it's delicate enough to, you know, let that fish kind of sink through. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I think what's on the plate is great. There's a little bit of black vinegar in the, the sauce, which balances out and, and kind of works with the richness of, of the fish. The mushrooms are, are lovely and kind of juicy, slightly slippery. The radish is an occasional bit of texture rather than the flavor, which I think is a really wise call. It's a, it's a strong dish. Right, let's go. Smoked Thai sausage with char-grilled squid, curry leaf, and sour orange. Wow. I'm wow, happy. Wow. I'm very happy. The whole idea of sausage and calamari, delicious. Lots of fresh herbs. And beautifully cooked. Oh, look at that. Look at wow. That. Look at that. Yeah, How OK. Are you? And the little Thai sausage in the middle. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> All these little bits of char, and it's just popping out. Looks good like that. Tell you what, looks better than it did in the plate. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. OK. <laughs> Next level. OK. Next, Next level. level. Straight away. Oh, Straight guys. away. Next level. Oh, look at that. That's this is happiness. Yeah. Oh, smell that. Oh, my god. That is spicy. Really? You're such a soup. That is not that hot. That no, it's not that hot at all. <laughs> well, you're looking at your brother's bowl there. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. You might as well kick off. Oh. Yeah, because we might be some time. Thank you. Thank you, because I'm going to be sweating away here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. I mean, it's delicious. <laughs> it's just complex. It's interesting. It's gutsy. It's homely. It's got everything. The making of the sausage, the cooking of the calamari, where it's got a bit of char, but it's still a little bit not raw. Springy. Springy. So you're playing this constant game with, with, with the way it feels on the palate. It's, it's great cooking. This is the kind of food that I live for, honestly. You know, I could eat this every night of the week. I love it. That sauce is spectacular, because I agree, it's spicy, but it's sour and it's a bit of sweet, and it's just that lovely kind of those waves and flavours that come through, like, like a great sort of Thai sauce does. On that note, in, a, in the happy way that we are, let's score. Well, shall we? Yeah. yeah, let's get out of there. <laughs> we have to say that we've had a great day and it's fabulous to have Matt Sinclair and Randall back in the kitchen. It's just really lovely, makes us proud. Right, now to the serious stuff. The scores on the doors. Let's find out who cooked what, Matt. What did you cook? The smoked Thai sausage with squid and sour orange. Mm. So, come. The Red Emperor. Come. let's score your dish first. Are you ready? Yeah. Fingers crossed? Yep. I scored you eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. Can't we love that complex mushroom broth? Eight out of ten. <laughs> so, Khan, that means you have a score of 24 out of 30. Matt, if you want to return to Sunshine Beach up in Queensland <laughs> with your reputation unscathed, oh, yeah. you need a score of 25.
George. Matt, a question. How much chili was in that soup? Just enough. <laughs> Honest. It honestly blew my head off. But honestly, it was brilliant. Ten, <laughs> two, <laughs> Can I tell you, that was my personal favourite dish of the season so far from all of our guest chefs. Absolutely loved it. And particularly Matt and I, I mean, yes, it did uh, blow the socks off of George, but you know, he can only take a little bit of chilli. Yeah. But we absolutely polished everything off in that bowl. Absolutely brilliant. Loved it. Thank you. I think what we're so excited is when we see someone like you that's come that far and we look at Khan and we think, Khan you can go there too. It's so exciting for us. So, Maddie, thank you so much for coming in. Ronald, doesn't matter where we go, whether it's Sydney, Chippendale, or whether it's maybe down here in Melbourne, we love what you and your brothers are doing now. It's inspirational to, to so many of our contestants, both past and present. Thank you so much for coming down. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Can't wait to see you at Kai soon. Let's give Matt and Ronald massive round of applause for giving out the time. Back to the Kitchen's Voice. Yeah, mate. All the best, mate. Three tens, baby. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's one thing to finish a cook and be really happy with the dish and feel like you've developed and la la la. Again, it means nothing if they're not on the same page. He's got a little spring in his step now, hasn't he? Hey. And three tens across the board. Good day at the office.